away we go. Ooh, it's the 22nd. So a couple of days, a couple of days after the last one. So, C2's not going to tell anybody why she's interested in Marshall and everybody who's been part of the team for more than five minutes first goes just like, oh yeah. So, yeah, mm, you bet zero C now, it's like, whatever. Kurt, and Michelle's like, Kurt's, you don't want it. She's a weird woman. Ma Maho, she's a ma she's a witch. And then um, Kurt says she's the White Queen. And it's surreal that she's here. Uh, Sue, do you do? And they're like, she's really old, dude. She's really old. But everyone who's on the actual team is like, don't like. She's not gonna tell you anything if. She doesn't want to, so don't worry about it. Long time no she, Ru Shako. She's like, you still hate me because I'm a magic like you still don't you still don't know how to talk to a woman. You know how to get right to a woman's hearts. He's like, why are you after Marshall? Oh, it's not you not it's like where's zero? She's like, I don't know, he's busy. What the buh, what night? Yeah, so, um, yeah, Mal explains that uh, C2 was part of Zexis, so one of the leaders of the Black Knights, the right hand of the Supreme Commander Zero, maybe his lover. I'm like, wait, so Zero was a dude? It's like, possibly. And since we don't know where that dude Kurtz is like, hell yeah, I might be able to bet this lady if the big boy's not around. And then Lucas says that she's an actual witch with real magic and shit, and also old enough to be your great 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 grandfather, uh, grandmother even. And he's like, what, whoa, jeez. But Shako uh, talks to her and just uh, asks what she's up to and where Zero's at. And she says uh, um, that Marshall, as he knows well, are the sort of people that she especially hates. And as for Zero, well, she's not paying nursemaid to that boy anymore. Throwing him out. Uh, she asks uh, Shako uh, what he believes God to be. And being the good Quentian he is, he says that he's got no idea. And he says it's not whatever the Marshall folks say. And she says, uh, spoken like a true uh, hater of the Superman. Uh, C2 seems to suspect that the Superman and God might be one and the same. And that explains her interest in Marshall. And for her part, she says that um, God is neither individual nor mortal. And uh, Shaka's like, does that make uh, you divine? Because you're not mortal? And she says, ah, God consists in those beings undying by choice and self-aware... Um, of their divinity. And Chaco is, gets stumped by the riddles. And Hibiki wants to know more, because he loves wizards. And C2 has never met him before. He's like, wait, who's this one? Um, but one uh, look at him makes go, it's like, what is it? And uh, she just goes, what are you? It's like, what? Did you, I'm the pilot of Jenny. And she's like, mm, it's not quite what I'm in. And then Susanne comes over and is like, what's he talking to Vicky about? I'm his uh, class teacher. And she explains about his daily life, how he goes to school and he trains with Alto and he goes on the occult forums on the internet. And then C2 asks, uh, um, what he wants to do, wants to become stronger, she asks um, um, uh, whether he's willing to discard uh, his daily life, his routine, his like regular normal people life uh, to become stronger. And he says that he is. And she says, ah, you remind me of the first time I met a certain someone. Well then, if you want strength, you're welcome to tag along with me to the Marshall Shrine. And. Uh, even with a worthy cause like rescuing Fian, it's probably best not to like mess with Marshall because any like more than necessary. You don't want to rumble the hornet's nest. Yeah, but see, just gone. Uh, what are you? Something weird about that Hibiki boy. He's a magic baby of some sort. But the bad guys have set up their temple in some ancient Mayan ruins. Maybe. Attracted by Mayan technology, like the Mayans' advanced astronomy and timekeeping, and all that jazz. Um, 
<laughs> it's like, yes, a cult nonsense. Um, yeah, the long count calendar brought mine's fame on after the site vanished, and Hibiki says, Hey, don't dismiss it all as mumbo jumbo, occult mumbo jumbo, dude. Those old prophecies sometimes have kernels of truth in them. And uh, it would be uh, pretty wild if the apocalypse foretold at the end of the age of the sun were to occur. And Sasuke's like, well, mankind is out with plenty of dire predictions, don't we? Really it's silly, it's not being silly. But we're gonna go get Fiona. So, we're inside, and it's going, like, pretty smoothly. Uh, the rest of the team outside are doing a, like, a big show of force to draw their attention out. Um, intelligence uh, reports that the mech that abducted Fiona is somewhere uh, on the complex, so Fiona herself should be nearby. Uh, Hibiki wants to know why C2 brought him along, and she uh, answers with a question of her own, and she says, uh, why are you so interested in God? And he can't say uh, in words. Um, except to say that if you can understand God, then it'll help you understand how to fight going forward. And C2's like, yeah, that's what I thought. Get a good look at what um, such beliefs have brought the martial faithful. And she tells Sasuke that she's used to dealing with boys trying to work things out for themselves. <laughs> Sasuke's like, oh, are you trying to do you actually, homie? And then Kiriko says that she's like, you haven't changed a bit. And she laughs and says, uh, that man hasn't changed either. And then, look who it is. You, he's like, howdy, Kashim. Not dead. Eat shit. God on. He's like, Lambda Drive was a wonderful thing, huh? And uh, he's going to get his revenge uh, painfully and slowly. So everyone starts shooting at each other. He's like, come on, Kashim, let's have a good time. Uh, Sosuke tells Kuriko and Ubiki to go on ahead. Off they go to go rescue Fiana, and Garon's like, <laughs> just as I planned. But now Kashim and Garon get to have all the time they want. Gowron says their business like straight up and he's like, let's get down to business, Kashim. There was no wreckage, it was all blown up completely, big flash of light gone. And Kiriko unfortunately runs into a mysterious gunshot lady. And it's Titania, she's really good. Um, and she says she's Titania de Montevels. That you're a perfect soldier, and she's like, No, I am an extant. And um, that makes her. Yeah, so Kiriko shoots her and she dodges because, you know, she's really good. Um, yeah, there you go. Is that what I thought I got you? Um, but um, she asks if. Uh, yes, yeah, she's like, I'm a. Next in a while, he's like Nebo. She asks him if uh, he believes in God, um, like the martial God. And he says, No, she says, I'll take your silence as denial, and uh, so I must kill you, untouchable or not. Yeah, this is scenario 13 with Mithril Root Marshal. Garon is like, hey Kashima, are we having a good time? And Sasuke wants to know what the hell Garon's doing here. And Garon says that the um, God of War shrine sounds like a pretty fitting place for him. If he believes in God, that is. And Sasuke is like, yeah, you definitely don't believe in God, you're a freaking shithead. And then C2's like, alright Hibiki, now for the lesson. Humans justify any and all actions when they believe God is on their side. And if God saves some people, then he also plunges some people into unfathomable darkness. When it comes to cosmic power beyond the mortal ken, there's no difference between the god and the devil. And humans have this habit of trying to get to that state of being on their own two feet. And then we show up. Sosuke tells Hibiki to take this outside. He's like, but what about Kiriko? He's like, I'll distract everybody so he can do his thing. Nerds. Uh oh, Mithril to his uh, 80s and arm slaves? Jeez, yep, 80s uh, marshals, but that's no good. Yeah, 
yeah, so yeah, now this like this proves that Marshall was um, complicit in Fiana's kidnapping. Uh, that arm slave is the Zai 98. Got leader, this is everybody. Cover Kiriko. Watch out for all that bullshit. Nah, a long time no see, Kaladin. Hold on. We thought we killed him at Hanker. No, well, I guess he's just a big pile of shit. Like, hey, I'm here with Marshall. Kisama. Going to Yep, yeah, take all that. We've got six minutes, so we got to leave. Hurry up, Kiriko. And the SR point is take down the Kadal real quick. Uh, they're shadows, right? They're the shadows. The the design ninety eight is the shadow. I want to say it's the shadows, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, the SR point is beat up the man. Uh, take down the Kadal within five turns. So let's get over here. Let's fight those boys. Stats in everything than that dude, but her skill is pretty good. Like she's a really good support character with a really powerful big move for when it comes to the maximum break. She does a lot of damage, comes out doing like 10 fucking K. Can I put her wiki in the pink mech? What pink mech? But no, I can't. Like, whatever big Mickey is, I can't. Mickey like, will always be in the, the Jenny. Yeah, 
やらなきゃやられるんだシモンヨハネヘテロいけー See, it is a bit mid down, definitely not. You can't stop any of you gayest fellas around. <laughs> not allowed to do no uh, cross series crossovers no more. In Alpha, the OG dude um, starts in a mess produced um, new weapon. And that was the last time they were allowed to do that. Sunrise went, no, you're not allowed to like let people from other series in on the start. It's like, alright, Sunrise, can't they? You're not allowed to disrespect the brand. Sosuke needs an air adapter as well, because a lot of his things aren't really good against people in the sky. And the driver ready! It's the A team. Not quite. Soldier, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm what is this power? Get a shotgun that dude. There are two instances though. Um, I think it's one this game and one next game where they skirt the issue of being allowed to swap people around, like cross series. Riding where they skirt it like very close to the line, but they obviously they got away with it. And it's like the reason the Super Oak Wars was originally super deformed, other than it was easy to, yeah, um, is that some and like the reason it stayed that way, even as it's. Gone on. It's obviously not limitation at all. Is that Sunrise charge more for um, not super full versions of their things? Let's flip a coin. Because if it comes out heads, then we might get both. Yeah, why didn't Kape stop in round and then? Keiko and um, Uchita going, you're way cooler than Kape. Then Kape going, finally I'm on my own. Fuck those two idiots. But yeah, Sunrise charge more for like regular proportion. Uh, there's stuff. Um, and that's why... Um, the, the real robot from uh, GC. It's the the one in Moon Dwellers where it's the orthodox super robot. You get to go in the original game, you get to pick a real or a super, and that's the super. And the reason the real isn't an option in Moon Dwellers is is because it looks exactly the same as another Sunrise robot and they went, no, it looks too much like our other thing, fuck off, no, but we did it before, they're like, yeah, but we changed our mind. Uh oh, Kiriko's coming. Doesn't have Fiana though, unfortunately. What the hell? But he came out here to get his mech. Kiriko. He just came here to get his AT. What the heck's he doing? And his Garon is like, oh wow, look, it's Marshall's little friend. And then, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Ah. 
Out comes Titania, and Kirikos is the fighter properly now that he's in an AT. Let's see if he can beat it next to Fiana. Moment, Kiriko. I'll defeat you and prove the strength of the Nexus. Move. I don't care to deal with you now. You disappoint me. Why are you, who's said to be exceptional, so attached to a woman like her? I don't need to explain it to you. Fine, but if you want to see that woman again, you'll fight me. I'm Titania de Mont Montewald, Marshal Marshal's Shield of Order, and the one who'll defeat the Untouchable. その隙が命取りだ。そこか。いや、オッケー。こちらの予想を超えただと。フレーザルモノ。Uh oh, more stuff coming into the area. Is it Marshall? Nope. Oh, look at that. More unknowns again. Yuki, what the heck? I don't know, but they're the things that showed up when I got Jenny and oh, it's the goddamn unknowns. Do they work with Marshall too? Uh, who knows? Let's beat them up. Beat up the unknowns and the things. The Chinese like, as long as they better could not get away between me and Kiriko. Let's go, Kiriko. I'm gonna beat you up. Cool if some of the protagonists could have piloted more things like the ones where like that's their gimmick is that they could have it instead of like oh yeah I'm a magic baby a magic baby thing and you just get safe with magic baby to work. Sasuga wa Kuentoji, hitosuji na wa de ikanai ka. Are you the one who made me? We are one.
shots because I've got to use them on the big boy. There's also a weird thing where uh, like some robots, like like the Dankugas in particular are ones where they have both ranged and melee attacks. And it's like, I can't swap the pilot around so I'm just making them one stat so I only have to level up one thing for them to be good instead of having to split it so they're just always gonna like either they're gonna have one attack like two or three attacks that just aren't as good as anybody else or um, like yeah like these guys when they're transforming they've got the uh, this one melee attack and it's like okay well he's just gonna have a really high thing it's like if you could swap people around, so you're like, oh, I could put like someone who's got a really good ranged attack in there, and they can use those attacks or whatever, like you do in the OG games. But obviously, you can't. Who did I shoot? I shot the wrong ones. Which one I shot? Yeah, exactly. One was There's, um, like, sometimes that's just super shitty. There's a dude in the next game, in 3 Part 2, whose finisher is the complete opposite of... Like, he's all ranged attacks, except for his weakest attack and his strongest attack. Which means, either you make him have a really good finisher, or you and be shit the rest of the stage, or you make him good the rest of the stage, but you can't ever hurt a boss. And, like, you can't swap him around or anything. It's like, well, there's stuff like Mazinga where he shoots beams and shit that you would expect to be ranged, but they make them melee because then, like, you know, he's good. Instead of just having a random, powerful ranged move you got to fuck around with. Like, sometimes it just fucks dudes over and makes them shitty. Turn two, and I've got to turn five to get that dude right. Yeah, within five turns, I've got to blow this man up, and he's got 25 health, 25,000 health, and he's Galron. So, you know.
遊んでいるのかな小型機だろうと侮るつもりはない出力マキシマムし出力の上昇確認徹底的にやるIt's a bee. All right, I just want to see combat on him. Just one. I don't know. You all right? Is there Z chips available? But there's Z chips for eating Titania. Nah, just having Kiriko beat neither. Swipe that magazine. Get it. 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 Get it
Alright then, let's get on beating that man up then, I guess. What's up, boy? You got that fancy mech, but you can't do jack with it, huh? Don't let him get to you, Hibiki. I know that much. Oi, newbie. You shouldn't bring your babysitter into battle. You'll be talking so big once that amateur kicks your butt. This amateur, rather. Well, that's a laugh. I'll admit that at least your guts are a bit bigger. Baby said that, I mean she's sitting on the baby. So what do you need? Exactly the guy I've got. Yeah. Hey look at that. Ten times more damage than Osmo did. Who's backing you up? No, nah, no. Nah. You really think a merc could speak willy-nilly about his sponsor? Either way, I'm fighting for Marshall's God now. The art of war is harmony with everything. Battle is peace. All that jazz. Quit playing games. That's it, Kashim. Get angry. Hate me. Go back to how you used to be. That's the man I want to crush, Kashim. Kashim. Uh. C2 is in front before anybody should be like Marshall, we've got a battle. Looks like the world didn't change at all, Lelouch. こんな形で再会できるとはな。ガウン、遊んでいるのか。このチャンスはものにしないとね。狙撃ポイントへ急行する。勝負。いい子だからじっとしてろよ。
Pay you back for what you pulled that hunker, warmonger. Big words coming from a merc. We're the same, you and I. You use war to satisfy your own desires. Don't ever put us in the same batch as you. Right, they can't. And then everybody's got stuff, but it's just a tiny. What I gotta do is joke her first. <laughs> よし、いいぞ。来た、来た、来た。好きにやらせるかよ。死ぬ時はあんたも道連れにしてやるよ。I'm so happy to be out of a real fight with you again. No time to waste on you. Don't be so cold. My apologies to that martial lady, but you're mine. See you later, Kashin! Oh, that man. Don't, yeah, don't know who's got his back, but sure to meet again. Yeah, Garon's is always having a good time. Garon has never had a bad time in his life. 
because he's been so easy by an actual insane man. Come to the battlefield or on a woman. Do it in one shot. He's taking him down in one shot. Don't, don't do the other thing. Shot and down my hand. Down my hand. Because I've been caught. You gotta come over here now. Okay, so oh, I think this. Is, okay, I think this is okay. This is the same as the conversation with Wufei. Where she's like, an amateur shouldn't doesn't belong on the battlefield. And he goes, so what? She's like, Ugh. I'm gonna get better. I got plenty to fight for. You can't tell me that. It's like, shut up, you fucking awful dude. Get out of here. Don't deserve to be in this beautiful pure battlefield. It's the same thing that face said to Not my match. So no tail. Sosuke vs. Titania. Titania says, A mithril mercenary. Let's see whether you're good enough to be my opponent. Unnecessary. In this battlefield, you're no more than another enemy to me. Oh, I got it. And he whiffed it. <laughs> if we had Alto Fighter, uh, he would say, She's the one that's been bothering Kiriko. Say, so, That's right, it's not a personal grudge. We faded to fight. I don't know anyone who gets in the way of that battle, and then Alto goes, Does not play along with your crazy prophecies? I'll deal with you, sir. Kuroko don't got her. Not wrong. Yatsu is a fool. 